What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about how Monday Night Raw ended, and man, oh man, did it end with a bang! They are really doing some good stuff with this Bloodline storyline. As usual, they that's usually the better storylines in WWE uh, for the past few years. But they're really kicking it up, and I love what they're doing and where what direction they could take um the bloodline story going forward but before we get into that and what happened at the end of the show we gotta uh send our condolences to roman reigns and his family um today um we all found out that his uncle uh alpha Anoa'i passed away and it's 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 really sad because just a few months prior roman reigns dad uh sika just passed away so to lose your father and then within a couple of months lose your uncle that's that's really tough so i, I want to send my prayers and condolences to roman reigns and his family and and just shout out to him for even being out there you know finding out that information and actually still being on the show and being a part of the show tonight you know much kudos to him for having that strength because i can only imagine your your emotions are running high as someone that you know you've known all your life is gone your father gone and your uncle uh it's that's a tough one man so prayers go out to roman reigns and his family um uh, rest in peace alpha and why and rest in peace Sika as well um but we got to talk about bloodline stuff so they started off the show solo holding the ulafala actually no he was being presented the ulafala by uh tamatanga and tamatanga basically was like you know what you know when roman shows up or whatever i'm gonna tear him limb from limb and then solo was like no no if roman takes this from me then you must acknowledge him and i must acknowledge him that's if roman takes this ulafala from me so essentially they were setting up some type of uh I, at first i was in, it was in, i was in under the impression that it was going to be a match but when the segment came uh you know happened at the end of the show it wasn't it was just two samoans Ha handling their differences trying to figure out who's really the tribal chief with no referee or anybody involved so we get to later in the show Roman uh solo comes out there and he tells everyone in the arena to acknowledge him no one does and you hear how loud otc champs in fact anytime solo was shown on camera tonight you heard very loud OTC original tribal chief chants throughout the entire arena. So you already knew that the crowd was fiending for Roman to get out there. And Solo's like, all right, that's how y'all feel. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all just y'all just gonna y'all feel like that? Cool. All right. Well, if Roman is the tribal chief, why don't you come out to this ring right now and take this Ula Fala from me? And Roman obliged. And when he came out and his music hit, crowd popped huge. I mean, man, this is what Vince McMahon always wanted Roman to get these type of reactions. They popped huge. Came out there, aura above 9,000. And I love that Roman hasn't said a single word on the microphone at all. Since he's been back, he hasn't uttered a word at all in the sense on the microphone. It's been straight handling business and and showing why he's the OTC. And there's a reason why he's not saying nothing. And I can appreciate that. And we may see why. But he hasn't said a single word. It's straight business. Love it. So he comes to the ring. He's staring a hole through Jacob. I said Jacob. <laughs> he's staring a hole through um. Speaking of Jacob, we're going to talk about him, but he's staying a hold through uh, Solo. Tamatonga over there seething. Uh, Solo take off the Ulfala. He gives it to Tamatonga. Tamatonga looked like he just wants to strike, but Solo tells him, get out the ring. Right now, get out the ring. This is between me and him. So I'm like, all right, cool. No referees. We about to have an uh, impromptu brawl. This is on some Samoan pride type stuff. All right, fuck it. Let's go. And they start trading blows. Crowds into it. Electric. 
Ultimately, Roman Reigns gets the upper hand, hits him with the Superman punch. But you know, Roman, you know, you know, uh, Tamatonga was going to get involved. And that's exactly what happened. Tamatonga attacks him from behind, trying to get the upper hand, trying to help out Solo. But Roman Reigns is not having it. Starts packing up Tamatonga, throws him outside the ring. And now we get into moving some furniture, man. This was really nice to see we we starting to get to the the furniture moving but ultimately solo comes in because um roman's about to put tamatonga through the damn table he's sick of his stuff he's about to put him through the table but uh solo comes in for the save and gets him back into the ring solo sokoa is about to hit roman reigns with the uh samoan spike and roman ducks Hits a Superman punch. He's charging up. The crowd is hype. He hits his traditional, ooh, ah. And it seems like now when he does that, when he's about to go for a spear, everyone in the arena does it too. It's such a dope moment. And he hits Solo with the spear. Takes him out. Roman sees the Ula Fala in the corner. He goes to the corner. He picks it up. Crowd's going crazy as he's picking it up. And then he gets into the center of the ring. And he put the Ulafala on. And the crowd is going even more crazier. He's like, you know, he has his eyes closed. He's basking. And it's like Roman's getting all his tribal chief powers back. He's, he's, it, it, it felt right. It felt good. And then Jacob Fatu comes out of nowhere and attacks Roman Reigns. The Ula Fala falls off and he's packing up Roman Reigns. I mean, beating that living crap out of him. And what's crazy, he gets Roman in, uh, in the corner and he's about to go to the opposite side of the ring to hit that, that hip attack that he does to, you know, his opponents, which is brutal. Bruh, I didn't even realize he had a goddamn boot on and he was moving at maximum speed and he runs to the other side of the ring with the boot on and hit hip attacks Roman Reigns in the face. Oh my God. And Roman's selling it like a million bucks. Like he just got hit by a truck. Might I add, this guy has a boot on. So at this point, Solo's directed traffic. He tells him to get him outside the ring. So now you have Solo, you have Jacob Fatu, and you have Tama Tonga. They lift him up for the power bomb. The same move that you know he made famous. You know he did with the shield for so long. The same move that he was doing with the bloodline with Solo to so many opponents. He finally got hit with the power bomb through the announce table. Beautiful spot. Crowds booing like crazy. Then they drag his body back into the ring. And then they give Solo once again the Ula Fala. And they put it right back on him as Roman is laying defeated. And everyone puts the ones up. And that's the last shot of the show. Roman in immense amount of pain under the feet of the new bloodline. This was great because when's the last time you seen roman get packed up like this when's the last time you seen roman on the ground as the final shot of the show it's usually his opponents on the ground and the, as the final shot of the show and him throwing up the ones but this time seeing roman in that position was crazy because we hadn't seen it in so long and it was a beautiful shot because it shows that this new bloodline is very formidable and Roman can't do it by himself. The same thing that Roman has had that's been he the same punishment that he's been dishing out to all these other superstars and for the past three years. He's finally getting that from his own family, from his own blood. That's why it's so poetic. That's why it was such a great ending. Now, uh supposedly he's not um going to be on these next few shows he's not advertised for these next few shows so maybe that would be a way to write him off as well you know he got injured or whatever and obviously since his uncle just passed i think to give him some time to spend with the family i think he definitely needs that so he probably won't be on television for a while but they do have 
Tama Tonga and Jacob Fatu supposed to be defending their tag team championships against uh, the Street Profits uh, since they won a number one contenders match uh, for the tag titles against DIY, which was a really good match, by the way. Um, I was initially thinking that maybe Roman would get involved and cost them the match, but maybe that's not going to happen. It may be a situation where maybe Jimmy returns and costs them the match. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, right now, I, I do see them probably keeping him off television for a little bit, and he probably will return. I can see Roman or Jimmy or, or maybe both of them, I can see them being the reason why they lose the tag titles because you need to amp up that feud, and you need to have them with no gold. So I can see that being a situation. Roman, maybe Paul Heyman, Jimmy of some sort, somebody – that's part of the OG bloodline will be a reason at some point um, Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga lose the tag title. So we'll see. But either way, this was a great way to end the show. You never really see Roman in a precarious situation like this. You never really see him at the feet of his opponent. But this time we did. And it's going to make it that much better when Roman gets his revenge. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this episode of SmackDown? Also, are you guys enjoying what they're doing with the Bloodline story? And do you think that Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga should lose the SmackDown Tag Team Championships next week? Or do you think they should retain them? Let me know how y'all feel about everything that happened on this episode of SmackDown. Appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all keeping me with me. See y'all next one. Peace.